a playground for the rich and famous, Monaco has glitz and glam in spades. Beautiful pastel-colored buildings, shiny supercars, and the shimmering Mediterranean Sea make this country a noteworthy stop on the French Riviera. But if you look beyond its manicured traits you'll find that there's plenty to do other than gape at its elegance. So whether you're visiting as a car and yacht enthusiast or simply for an idyllic summer holiday by the water, here's our guide for the perfect weekend in this microstate. To see, Princess Grace Rose Garden. Photo, Charlie Galois If you're interested in the royal family, the most notable attractions are the Prince's Palace and St. Nicholas Cathedral. The former is the official residence of the ruling monarch and dates back to 1191. Watch the changing of the guards at 11.55 a.m. and tour the stately home afterward. The latter is where Prince Rainier III and Princess Grace got married and is also the final resting place for past princes of Monaco and the iconic actress. But if you're specifically a fan of Grace Kelly, head over to the Rose Garden in Fontvieille Park, which is home to thousands of Her Serene Highness's favorite flower and was built in her memory. Lovers of green spaces can also check out Jardin Exotique de Monaco and the Japanese garden adjacent to Grimaldi, Forum, New National Museum of Monaco Villa Sauber. Photo, copyright New National Museum of Monaco For those looking to immerse in the arts, the New National Museum of Monaco holds two contemporary exhibitions every year. However, if you're in town while there's a performance at Opera de Monte Carlo, make sure you book a ticket. Designed by Charles Garnier, the same architect behind Paris's Palais Garnier, the gilded interiors are just as much of a spectacle as the shows. And while you're there, stop by the iconic Casino de Monte Carlo and take a look around the elaborate Belle Epoque building, admire its many chandeliers and frescoes, and play a few hands at the tables. Photo, courtesy of Monte Carlo Societe de Bains de Mer. Meanwhile, car enthusiasts still have attractions they can enjoy even if they're not attending the Formula One race. There's the annual top Marcus Monaco supercar show in April, but the gallery that houses Prince Rainier III's impressive automobile collection is worth a visit. And if boats are more your speed, take a stroll around Port Hercules and Ogle at the super yachts. But if you're coming into the city-state on your own vessel, give Monaco Yacht Club a call and reserve a spot in its section of the marina, which will give you temporary access to some of its facilities in the Norman Foster-designed building. To eat, photo, courtesy of Hotel Metropole Monte Carlo for Michelin-starred dining, Alain Ducasse's La Louis XV, Joel Robichon, La Vista Mar, and Blue Bay are all great options. Photo, courtesy of Monte Carlo Societe de Bains de Mer But if you want something a little more low-key, Castle Rock serves up exceptional Monegasque cuisine, Les Pearls de Monte Carlo raises its own oysters and offers fresh seafood, the Daily Condamine Market is the best spot for produce, and Café de Paris Monte Carlo is a fun spot for people watching. To stay, the Princess Grace Suite at Hotel de Paris Monte Carlo. Photo, courtesy of Hotel de Paris Monte Carlo Hin in Monaco, a luxury hotel is the way to go, and there are three that are most lauded. Hotel de Paris Monte Carlo has been undergoing renovation, which has refreshed the property with a more modern aesthetic, it is where guests who want to see and be seen stay. The crown jewel here is the recently revealed Princess Grace Suite, a two-bedroom duplex accommodation with incredible marble bathrooms, an enclosed garden, expansive terraces, and a heated infinity pool. Hotel Hermitage's glass dome was designed by Gustave Eiffel. Photo, courtesy of Monte Carlo Societe de Bains de Mirth and there's Hotel Hermitage, an elegant Belle Epoque style property with a glass dome ceiling designed by Gustave Eiffel, the man behind Paris's most iconic landmark. The Karl Lagerfeld designed pool at Hotel Metropole Monte Carlo. Photo, Studio Phoenix, courtesy of Hotel Metropole Monte Carlo and last but not least is the Hotel Metropole Monte Carlo, where the sleek Givenchy Spa and Karl Lagerfeld designed pool juxtaposes its old-world French decor. Related, how to plan the perfect road trip in France.